Teresa BD, Hi. how you doing? Thanks so much for joining me today. Appreciate it. Hey, James. So really excited for season two of Aquafina is Nora from Queens. Such a fun show. So many wonderful characters. Now, Teresa, for you, when you all kind of got together to start planning season two, were there any specific aspects of the story that you kind of wanted to expand on? Yeah, I mean, I think we really just wanted to keep the fun and irreverence of season one, but then get deeper into the, you know, our characters' emotions, the emotional side of things. And I think, you know, we we, we leveled up, I, th I think, with, with season two. We're really excited about it. And BD, for you, you've played a lot of very interesting and eccentric characters in your career over the years. I mean, I think that Wally's definitely interesting, but would you describe his, him as in that same way? Or do you think he's kind of just an everyday guy? Because I think he's way more than just an everyday guy. I think both, actually. I think that, yeah, I definitely see why he's an everyday guy. And I like that because for me, everyday guys are not, you know, that's not my normal kind of thing. I don't have a lot of parts like that. So I definitely feel that. But then I also feel that he has an opportunity, it being a comedy and the comedy often being as broad as it needs to be, to to be not eccentric necessarily, but to actually play broader comedy. And the, the range is pretty wide, actually. Um, it, it, we were able to kind of get really intimate in the show this, uh, this season. And Teresa, I think it was a bit of a risk or a bit of a kind of a, uh, an experiment that I think works really quite beautifully because the, the the broader comedy or the wackier comedy is still quite present. So um, I think it's um, even better is, is what I would say than season one because of that. I definitely yeah, noticed definitely, that right away. Yeah, yeah we definitely Teresa. kind of adjust things so that we're able to do the wacky things, but then also have those episodes that have a little bit more heart too. Yeah, we, we're not throwing out the baby with the bathwater kind of thing. Right, we no did throw out a baby. That. You're just adding a little bit more tepid water. That's all you're doing. And, that's, yeah, and that's, exactly. there's nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> yeah. So that I know that you both get to work with Aquafina a lot, whether it be on the screen or behind the scenes. Can you all kind of talk about the energy that she brings to this series as a whole? I would say just from, I'll jump in because Teresa knows her way better than I do, but I'm getting to know her in, in a very nice way working with her as I do. And I would say honesty and just kind of cutting right to it are really her such great qualities for a person running a show and creating a show and being the center of a show to have. And I've always, I've really grown to respect and, and love that about her. She's really very clear about what is right and what isn't right for her in the show and articulates it in a very um, nice, but, um, uh, but clear way. And that's so, such a kind of a rare thing in our business that, that somebody can be so clear. And I think our best work gets done because of it. Teresa? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think that the greatest thing about her, obviously, is that she sort of sets the tone for the show. She's incredibly kind, incredibly professional. You know, she has this kind of persona that's just, oh, a stoner. Uh, she's crazy. She's all over the place. But at the same time, like, she's really, she's really, really smart. She's really, really funny. And, um, you know, very professional on set, like Edie said, and kind of sets the tone for, you know, she knows everyone on the crew you know we're, it's a really really fun environment and, and it's always a pleasure to to kind of work with someone like that absolutely bd for you one of my favorite episodes of last season was when wally took brenda to the dinner theater i don't think i can forget that episode because it was so hilarious tease for us a little bit though could we actually be seeing a little bit more with brenda and wally this season maybe things get a little more serious i don't know I think it's okay to say that. It, yes, it does. And how it does and what happens, I won't say. But I will say that it has been really, it's been really my first um, on-screen girlfriend or boyfriend, actually. And in a, in a way that is really kind of surprising, but I really am enjoying having that experience because it is through a kind of a personal relationship, like a loving relationship, that you can have intimacy and, and communication and all, and good things that make things really three-dimensional and so um yeah they get i think the main thing to say is that they get a little bit closer and that as a result it affects wally's relationship with nora as all of the characters in the show in season two are changed or changing that affects their relationship to nora and that's kind of what spent the second season spins on foundation uh, absolutely now i don't know how you can watch this show and not love 
Lori Tan Chin, and I think that that is especially true for the first episode of season two when you guys get a chance to see it. So, Teresa, how much fun is it to write a character like that? And for B BD, for you, talk about the dynamic between her and Wally a little bit, especially with him getting back out there on the dating scene, because that's going to be fun. Teresa. Yeah, no, uh, Lori is a joy, um, and she's she is what you know when you when you meet her and you, you hang out with her. She really does embody that grandma attitude of you know uh, she when when Nora was sick last season, she actually made her a soup, um, and this was even before we filmed that episode. Of course, uh, and so yeah, it was really it was really sweet, and so um, you know she's she's sweet, but she also has this like edge to her because you know she's an OG and she's been through it and it's really nice and we're so happy that she's kind of been able to let you know let go and be able to do her own thing on the show and we kind of just let let her free so it really is like a playground for her and you know she brings her own props and she feeds everybody and she's she's she she really relates to that maternal energy that is so important for her to have in her relationship with Nora because it's real and I've known her a long time. She was in my first show that I was ever in. So we, we came up together and she really looked out for me then, even when we were um, much younger. And it's so nice to see somebody kind of finally finding a place. She's done a lot of great work over, over, over the years, no question. But this is a particular situation in which she's being given almost a kind of free reign. And it's, it really shows. This is why people love her enough, because she's authentic to who she is as a performer. BD, speaking of which, you actually got to go behind the camera, direct an episode this season, this season, season two premiere, if I'm not mistaken. So what was it like getting a chance to do that? Um, well, it's it actually the season, uh, it's actually see, uh, episode 10. I, episode I know 10. why. You, oh, okay. Seven, okay. Seven. There, was a, there was a press release and the wording of it was, come, they bundled, whatever. It's, it's, That's it's, why it's, I got it. Okay, there we yeah, go. Yeah, it wasn't, it, I was, I'm de debuting in season two and I directed season 10, I mean, uh, episode 10. Seven, seven. So, Seven, sorry. There are 10, and I was seven, seven out of 10. Hopefully we get to season 10. I mean, well, yeah. why not, right? <laughs> uh, but it was great. It was really, I would, I'm very grateful to Teresa and, and, and Aquafina for asking me to do it. And um, uh, I was pleased as punch to, to take it on and enjoy the, uh, you know, I think if I was going to direct um, an episodic, an episode of a television show, which I've kind of resisted over the years, the concept of it. I, I was, if I was going to do it with people I really liked collaborating with, and if I was allowed to collaborate, which they allowed me to do unbelievably uh, in, in, in really, in really a very nice way that made me feel really included, that, that is the way that one should be able to do it. And I really was grateful that this was the way that I was able to do it because it really made it fun for me. And then I'm acting in the show at the same time. So I'm ex 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 exploring and uh, discovering things about the character as we're doing it. So it was kind of wild. Yeah, it's, I, it's I such a special episode. It's probably, probably my favorite one of the, of the season, so. Yeah, that's nice. It's, it's, it, is, it has a special identity and a special emotional kind of resonance. Interesting. Interesting. So Teresa, as you go into a second season of a show like this, obviously you've, you've probably, like he said, you've known Aquafina for a while, but when you get to work with the cast for a full season, you come back for a second season, do you get kind of a sense as you're writing, you go, okay, I know this would work well for this person. And maybe you know that a little bit better going out in the second season. So that allows you to stretch things out a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the lucky thing is working with this amazing cast, we know exactly what they can do and really leaning into that. I think partly just getting into deeper into the characters and having, you know, talking more to Nora and kind of figuring out like, what do we want to say? What are the themes we want to say? That was, those were all things that, you know, obviously season one, we're sort of establishing everyone trying to figure out the show, learning on the job. And season two, it really feels like, again, that we kind of leveled up every, in every element across the board. Really quickly, favorite episode from season two you can't wait for fans to see? I already said mine. That's, that's BD's episode. Yeah, and I'm partial to 207, too, because I directed it. But I also really love 204. I worked with a really dear friend, Cindy Chung, in that episode. And I really, really... was it. Is it still 204? Uh, it is, yes, 204. Yes. Well, it's now 204 if it wasn't before, maybe. Yes. And and so that what that's a I, I I'm looking forward to seeing that episode. They're all like you're all little children. It's hard to say which one is your favorite. It is hard, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
No doubt about that. But it's all good, and you're going to see that August the 18th. That's when Aquafina is North from Queens premieres on yeah. Comedy Central. Catch up season one, by the way, on HBO Max. Yeah. Two, by the way. Teresa, VD, thank you so much for the time today. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much, James.